But when you have to call someone like this, you want them to be totally honest about their dishonesty. And it seems that's what this witness did on the stand. I think that witness, that's correct. The witness did very well on the stand. I think this was a turning point day for the state. Uh, frankly, the uh, neuropathologist was not as good as I had expected. I expected that to be dramatic testimony. But really, I think this, connecting evidence, connecting Drew with the intent to commit the murder, although not that way, some other way, was very dramatic. And with the cross-examination, it began with Joe Lopez, which I thought was a very good idea because, after all, and he actually mentioned the outfit, which is what the mob is called in Chicago, in this cross-examination. Who better than to cross-examine a rat? But as it went on, I actually thought the opposite. I thought the tactic was not good because, after all, if Joe Lopez is used to cross-examining rats and the, the glove fits, so to speak, well, maybe this guy really is a rat. Maybe he is Sammy the Bull. So at the end of it, I, I, I thought that that technique actually made the uh, witness seem like maybe he was very credible and uh, they're attacking him like a mob rat. Uh, didn't work, I think. Uh, so Joe's a very good lawyer, but this cross-examination really didn't touch Pactor. I think it's a turning point. And Neil Shuri is coming up with more evidence. And so this is a turning point, in my opinion. Uh, having sex with an underage child. And we've been getting a lot of these, uh, you know, something dealing with... Uh, sex, underage child, and I believe they're talking about probably Stacy Peterson here. Uh, how about that, Jeff? Well, well, Stacy was 18 when they married, so uh, 19 when they were married, so I don't think she was underage. And uh, there's a lot of talk about that because he likes very, very young women, but I, I don't think they had a case uh, uh, factually. Factually, to, to prove uh, that she was in fact underage at the time that they consummated right. their relationship. Right. Yeah, and that's right, and I've heard that over and over again. You know, there's rumors here and there about how old she was, but what's been uh, right. on the record is that she was of age. Jeff Gold, how about this? Would a hung jury benefit the prosecution in this case? What do you think, Jeff? Well, well, for a long time, I have said that a hung jury is a victory for the state in this case. Uh, it's been a tough case for the state. They have very little to connect up. The dots, they have nothing about Drew being in the scene. There have been mistake after mistake. Uh, if they got a do-over, which a hung jury might just be, uh, that would probably be a good thing for the state. Would he stay locked up? Uh, I think he would. Oh, that's a good question. The judge could revisit bail, certainly, now that we know that the strength of the state's case is not what perhaps uh, a judge might have assumed in the beginning of the case, so it could be revisited. My guess is he would still stay locked up. All right, we got the answer. I told you, folks, you can send us your questions. Let's bring in our experts as we try to figure out who's having a better day today. With me, Jeff Gold. You've got Mike Brooks and Neil Adams. Uh, Jeff and Neil out in Joliet. All right, gentlemen, um, what I need you to do right now is reveal for the folks at home who you believe is having a better day so far today. Look at that. A little higher, Jeff. A little higher, Jeff. There you go. A lot of blue. It's all blue. It's unanimous. First day, and it might be because uh, Judge Stephen White isn't with us. It's the first day that it's been unanimous. Let me begin with you, Jeff Gold. Uh, why do you believe this is yep. a victory today so far for prosecutors? Well, you know, as Vinny, as I mentioned before, I think it really was a turning point. Uh, first of all, on uh, Pactor, I think he said something that Drew now has to explain. Up until now, there was absolutely no reason for Drew to have to testify. And still, a thousand lawyers may tell him not to testify. But this, really, this cross-examination didn't do it for Drew. And that's going to be in the jury's, juror's mind. I think Drew has to explain it. Second of all, Loftold, the trooper, testified. He was like the young guy going with the sergeant. And he was saying to the sergeant, uh, why, you know, we're interviewing Sergeant Peterson in the Bolingbrook uh, Police Department? That doesn't seem right. That's not what the book says. We shouldn't be giving him a comfortable ride. And then when they talked uh, to Stacy and him together, he said to the sergeant, you know, uh, that's not what the book says. We're not supposed to interview them together. So that was a very good witness for the state as well. Yeah, Jeff, you make a fantastic point. You heard it from our experts, folks. Today is a good day, a really good day for prosecutors. And trust me, they need to do it now because you're not going to turn it around during the defense case.